drawing? I know Yuri showed me a drawing. What the portrait look like? I, I'll find the iPad with this crappy sketch. What if I, from this point on, worked on whatever goes inside here? Mm -hmm. So start that up there. Yeah. Do you have what any is it? Um, so we're going to try to fill it with water, which means that this has to be this has to be pretty, you know, mm -hmm. to lock something on to this pretty structurally, right? Mm -hmm. um, I want to make sure too that since we're doing so much out of hard plastic, that it doesn't just look like a static uh, thing. Uh, we have to give ourselves opportunities to create movement in it. Like if these are, you know, rubber or bubble wrappy ten tendrils or something that come up, that we can shove a rod down in it and you know, do that from the top and you know, make it do that kind of stuff. So anyway, that aside. The thing inside, if we do fill it with water, um, that I guess the advantage of that is that it, it gives us, uh, it'll make whatever's in there float, right? Mm -hmm. So you had said tendrils and stuff. Maybe, maybe it's like fabric-y stuff that'll really float as opposed to rolled latex. This is going to come off of its pose. But if it was like shreddy fabric or something like that that could just look membranous with a dark core in the center, and you were you were concerned about the drill rod thing. Yeah, actually, you don't want a don't want a high speed thing. Um, ladders alone. So what about the? Uh, does Dave just have a? Um yeah, just some one mechanism to do this instead of spinning something that does that. Yeah. It's, um, so we can do this inside there. Let's see what he's got. Uh, I know that there's uh, some bigger tentacle mechanisms over there. Um, c c bring that over if you would. suck up and uh, up the hole. All the well. stuff goes up here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically I'm just what I'm making right now is I've got this sacky thing. I need to make some sort of tubular thing and a bunch of crap that hangs off the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. this the, the guy actually hangs in front of this, kind of obscuring all that? I believe so, because this was going to be coming out of the guy. Mm -hmm. Um Alex said he wanted it to look like it was an arm pushing up against the wall. Mm-hmm to steady himself. Doesn't it come out of his side or something? I think it comes out of his side. I don't think it's actually in his arm. Mm -hmm. um, I think it comes out of his side, right? Right, okay. But, you know, what is that stuff hanging to the head? Yeah, this can be, I can put like some sort of, 
I can just attach something, some sort of tube to that, or hose or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or rod or whatever. Because um, Alec is talking with the idea of filling it with water. Okay. Mm and putting something inside of it, this weird squiggly thing. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Okay. I'm assuming for whatever shots that are wide that it pushes forward, it probably doesn't have to be filled with water. How do you operate that thing? From above? You're operating something straight down inside there? Yeah, it's like he's talking about like a tentacle mechanism. Oh, that okay. Feed down through here. So I'm thinking okay. the best bet is since I have this, I can fiberglass something to that. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And then whatever we use as a mechanism feed down into that thing so it does out the shit. Does he want a hard connection, I guess, is what I'm wondering. That's is what I'm sort of soft, like is this I think it should be something fabric that's, or something that's holding it there. There should be something like if I had a big tube or something that can go up and down. We can mm -hmm. you know, push down and then draw back up. But be enough beefy enough to hold this. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I'd like to see it filled with water. If it's a tight shot with something inside of it, that'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess I just don't know if this is hard or soft up here. Yeah, I'm thinking that it's supposed to be, like this thing right here, should be comprised of maybe like a bubble wrap gig or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. As long as it uh, has something out, it can't take the weight, right? The yeah, that's what I'm saying. So that's, something's gonna have to take the have, weight of yeah, this thing yeah. and be able to pull back up. That's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get to. We don't have any big acrylic tubes or anything, do we? Oh. We may, this we doesn't, may. Because this thing doesn't have to do this. It doesn't have to swing, it just has to go up and down, right? I don't know. So if this has, well, it's I always pictured this being flexible, but maybe I've had a wrong impression. I'm saying if this had something attached to it that could go up and down, and this thing around it was flexible so they could, you know, draw in and out. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to solve is, you know, the weight issue and structure, and then on the outside of it, make it clear and yeah. squishy and shit. That's an Alec question for me. You yeah. want this hard or soft up there, I guess? Yeah. Do you want me to ask him now? Or? Yeah, or he's in a meeting right now, actually. Well, but I mean, you got all I that brought stuff. Up the, yeah, I brought up the questions to you, so that now you know where we are, so we can, right. we can raise it up to him as well. At this point, it's very important to note that I am tired as shit. And every time you see me rubbing my face or my head, that means it's been a long day. So, you know, I still have to go through approval stage with Alec and make sure, you know, what we're doing is what he wants. Um, this is another, same thing, vacuform um, pulling against the, these petals that were uh, also from another creature that are now vacuform. This is going to be the top of the chandelier creature. Um, kind of very leaf-like organic looking things, claws on them and shit, same process. I don't even, I'm not even sure who the gentleman on the right is. We had a lot of interns helping us, which was beneficial. Um, but again, you know, when you're dealing with a low budget project, uh, any help is good help.